friends, hello, hello, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. This is Pen Pen and it is day three. How are you today? I hope you are having a great day. I am looking forward to a day full of Stardew fun. And we're starting out with a rainy day, which is fantastic. I have some plans, so let's get to them. First of all, let's check the weather report. Welcome, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Good to know, good to know. and. What about the fortune teller? Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, that's ominous. That is ominous because I have a lot of plans today. Let's go outside and have a look at the world. Oh, rainy days in Stardew Valley are just the most magnificent things because you don't have to water your crops. That makes an enormous difference. Now I have no mail today. I have no crops ready to go. So what am I going to do? Well, I have plans. Since it's a rainy day and I don't need to spend my energy on watering crops, I am going to make a pathway up to my northern exit and a pathway down to my southern exit. And as well as that, we have a couple of quests to finish. So we need to send Linus his herring which is, oh, where did I put the herring? I'm pretty sure I put it in the chest. Did I put it in the chest? Yes, Linus, we will bring you your herring. And while I'm here, I will get some important things. I don't need you today. No, I do not, my friend. And the other thing that we are going to do is finish meeting all the people. So we still have six people to greet. And today is going to be the day. And I'm hoping, because it's rainy, a lot of people will be inside and easier to find. So why don't we start by, well, firstly, organizing our mishmash of tools. No. There we go. And let us start by clearing our way up to the northern exit. So there are two exits from your farm, the north and the south. And the northern exit leads up into the mountains where uh, Robin and Demetrius and Maru live and the southern exit leads out to Marnie's farm which is where you eventually go to buy your cows, chickens, sheep etc and of course I plan to have all of those things and ducks, ducks, ducks are fabulous, pigs, oh I miss my truffle pigs so clearing this up, this is not something that I want to do on a normal day because it does chew a lot of energy, I don't have a lot of energy at the moment, I don't have a lot of skill so doing this takes you can see i'm already nearly down a quarter of the way through my daily energy so uh, it's interesting how they use energy as a sort of a what would you call it a currency for the game so it manages your movement early on and as you get better instead of getting like uh well no that's not true you do get new skills you get better hit points so you improve as the game goes along and you improve by doing things like this so i think that will do us for the northern exit i'll just get that and i'll get that and i'll get that sometimes it's very hard to see what's behind the trees uh, but you don't want to clear out all of your trees because you will need these and more as the game goes on so clear this bit and then let's look at going south now i want to make my southern pathway down here because I intend to, by the time summer comes around, this little tedly patch of dirt that is my current farm will be quite large. It will take up a, a very large portion of this space. So I don't want to crowd myself. So I'm going to chop my way down here. And look at this, I'm at half energy already. Am I even going to make it? Maybe I won't chop any more trees after this because chopping down trees, whew, that's an expensive business, but clearing weeds is actually free. It costs you nothing. So if you can just work your way down by clearing weeds and then occasionally rocks and uh, rocks and branches, you'll be fine. Now this, this here log, your axe isn't strong enough to break this stuff. So as you get better axes, you actually get... Um, the ability to break some of these larger stumps, which you don't have at the moment. And when you do, you get things like hardwood. And hardwood is a crafting material that you can use for different things. Uh, improved materials and things like that. There's another one there. Yep, can't use it. And the same with these big stones. 
So I need to get a, uh, oh, is it a copper pickaxe? I think copper is the next one up. Now, wow, this is stony ground down here. And I, but I certainly will use all these stone. Oh, what's this? You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Well, I've got something else to do today. I'm going to go and get Clint. Clint? Yes, Clint. To have a look at my geode. Oh, and I got some seeds. That's fantastic. So that is wonderful. And we are nearly there, guys. We actually made it. Uh, now, that's our southern exit. Is it clear? Yes, look at that. A beautiful pathway all the way up to our house. Very easy, and we won't miss it in the middle of the night. Oh, I will clear these. How did I miss those? Weeds. Go away, weeds. If you don't clear the weeds, they will actually spread and take over your farm. So you do sort of want to go around and clear them out of the way. But, the you know, you also get things from them like fibre, which you use to make scarecrows, and seeds occasionally, which you can plant. And that's what I'm going to do now. I have just enough energy. Pop this guy in the ground. What do we get? Ooh. Do you know? I have no idea what that is, but we'll find out. Let's put our goodies away. We've got some more wood, we've got some stone, some sap for making fertilizer, a bit of coal. And I'm keeping my geode so I can put the axe and the pickaxe away. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot. This is how long it's been since I've played. You can press this button and it will organize your tools. Now, it doesn't organize them in the way that I like, but if you're in a hurry, it's perfect. It's one o'clock, people. Let's do step one on the list, which is delivering the herring to Linus. And Linus is up in the mountains. He's the guy who lives in a tent, you know, the little homeless guy. Um, so we will nip up here and have a look. Oh, oh, worms, worms. I mean, twigs. Oh, they're, they're worms. They're totally, look at them. Twigs don't wiggle like that. What do we get? Oh, another book. You found a lost book. The library has been expanded. Hey, they removed... Oh, you used to get this little flashy thing and a little jingle. I'm disappointed. Oh, but we do have some forage. A silver star leek. That's fantastic. Now, leeks are useful for George, who was the cranky old guy. You know, he's married to Evelyn, who we call Granny. Um, he likes leeks because he rubs them on his knees in the winter when they're sore. So you should always have a few leeks around to make George's day. Now let's see if Linus is home. Excuse me, hello, hello. Hi Linus. I don't know you well enough to trust you, sorry. Oh look, I totally understand. You know, you're, you're a bit of a mountain man. We've just met um, and you know, you might be a little bit wary of people, but I assure you, you know, we are going to be great friends. And to prove it, my friend, here's a herring. Hello, Pen. Is that the herring I requested? I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome, Linus. Here's your payment, as promised. And I got 90 gold. Linus, that was fantastic. I hope you enjoy your fish stew. I'm sure it'll be great. That herring was fresh yesterday. Fresh and shiny. Well, that's fantastic. That is one job done. Now, what was the other job? Oh, oh, we have to rush to the blacksmith. I don't know if we're going to make it because the blacksmith closes at four o'clock and it's already three o'clock. But we're going to make a dash for it and see how we go. Run, run, run. I am running. If I see any forage, we're done for. See, it's 20 past three. Oh, and there's a daffodil. Should I get the daffodil? I can't help myself. I need to get the daffodil. And no, we're not gonna make it. We've got half an hour to get to the blacksmith before he closes. This is the joys of country towns. You know, people shut their doors at four o'clock on a weekday. I mean, come on, I come from the big city and we would be open till seven o'clock. I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. No, please let me. Oh, can you believe it? If I hadn't stuffed up that click, oh, I could have got my geode. Oh, well tomorrow oh oh yay soggy newspaper that was good i got something from the trash anyway so that's got to be a bonus and now everything is closed so i'm just going to toddle around and 
have a look and see if I can find the six people I'm missing. All right, let's have a look at our social bar. Who are we missing? Oh, Linus is at the top of our friendliness list. I like that. Uh, oh, Jazz. Yep. Okay. The wizard. He doesn't count. Maru. Maru. Uh, Elliot's down at the beach. I won't be able to get him today because I can't get into his house and it's raining. Oh, I haven't met Penny. I haven't met Haley or Al Oh my goodness. I'm being slack, my friends. I am being very slack. So just excuse me a minute while I toddle up here and see if I can catch Maru. Oh, there's Pam. Hi, Pam. I've already met Pam, so that's fine. I won't stop and talk to her today. So Maru is the daughter of Demetrius and Robin and half-sister to Sebastian. And she has a very interesting storyline. She's a scientist like her dad uh, and very nice. And she sometimes works at the clinic to help out Harvey, the local doctor. There's Robin. Hi, Robin. How you doing? Yeah, oh, I can't click today. Rain doesn't stop me from getting a job done. I would believe that, Robin. You are a dedicated woman. I approve. Greetings. Stay inside if you want to keep warm. That's that's good advice, Demetrius. I, uh, I completely agree with you. Now, is Maru here? Oh, she's in her room. Darn it. She's working on something. Very technical. Okay, so we can't see Maru just yet. And Sebastian lives down here. But he's not in. Well, I can't go in anyway. I don't know him well enough. So you need to sort of know people well enough to be wandering into their bedrooms. Uh, which makes perfect sense. You know, I wouldn't want a complete stranger to wander into my bedroom. I would be mortally offended, my friends. So let's see if there's anyone in the park. I don't think there will be anyone in the park today. Because it is, as mentioned before raining but Haley does sometimes hang out here no she's not here today all right let's see who else was it jazz oh it's 6 20 i i have left it too late i don't think i'm going to be able to meet a lot of people but i'm going to nip down here and see if Haley is in her house is she Yes, but she's also in her bedroom. Please, people, why are you hiding in your bedrooms? Check this bin. Nothing. Nobody's around. Do, do, do. Fiddling through the bins. It's fine. Uh, oh, and Sam's in his bedroom. Well, I am not having any luck. I'll go up and say hi to uh, Vincent. I want to look for bugs, but mum gets mad when I'm all dirty. I totally understand because she's the one who's got to clean up after you. Jeez. Hey, Jody. did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. I really did. Look, no dirty footprints at all. Everything's fine. Hi, Sam. I'll meet you another day. And I think 10 past 7. It is a bit late, but we'll see if we can get out to Marnie's farm. That's Leah's house down here, that little green roofed one. And let's see if we can get in. No, oh, it's locked. Open 9 till 6. Okay, so... Well, so much for my plan of meeting all the people I was missing. I have done a terrible job of that. And in fact, it's been a very, very short, very uneventful day. I got to clear the path to the top and bottom of my farm. Uh, I delivered a herring to Linus. That's something. And that's about it. I've, I've had nothing else happen that, oh, that's, that's terrible, people. What a disappointment of a day never mind well i guess we will then oh there is one more thing that we can do since we've uh, we've got a little bit of time let's toddle down i'm going around in circles you do eventually get a horse and that makes travel a lot easier because right now like you can see how long it takes me to get from one side of the town to the other which is amusing because you know the town is quite tiny but i'm going to head down here and cross the river because there is something there that you can sell now let's go oh and dandelions always pick up forage because you can either sell it or you can use it in recipes it's very handy very handy indeed oh man i've got a horseradish yeah doing well now down here in spring you will sometimes find bring onions but I think I might be unlucky today oh my goodness not a single one oh there's a creepy sewer can you look in it's locked hmm. 
Very interesting. Oh my gosh, look at the pollution down on that beach. That is disgusting, people. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, there's another bridge over here somewhere. Here we go. And if we nip across here, there is a little bridge here. Traipsing about. It's 10 o'clock at night and there's a little ruined house there that we will find out about very soon, but not today. Today, we are going to run home and uh, my goodness, that day went incredibly fast and we got very little done. That was a concern i think tomorrow oops tomorrow we might have to work a bit harder to get some things done so let's plan for tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a sunny day according to the weather report and in stardew valley you can always trust the weather report to be accurate so it's going to be a sunny day so what we will do tomorrow is we will water our plants and we've got 1600 gold so I think tomorrow it would be a good idea to go into uh, into town and get some more seeds and expand our farm a bit because we need money. We need lots of money to buy things like the coop and wells and all those sort of buildings and things. So tomorrow we're going to go into town and we will see if we can do a better job of meeting people. I need to empty my inventory. Oh, and I should sell some stuff. So I'm going to sell this Silver Star Leak and maybe a couple of dandelions another leek there we go i'm keeping one of each just in case i need them okay well that was well no it was a good day we got we managed to clear um oh oh it's getting late Okay, I need to get into bed. We managed to clear our way north and south and we did deliver a herring. So that was all we needed to do. And I'm going to sign out here and say thank you for watching my friends and I will see you tomorrow in Stardew Valley. Let's see how our day went. Yes, level one foraging. That is beautiful. We've got a new recipe, wild seeds, and we can craft a field snack. Trees sometimes drop seeds and a plus one axe proficiency. Well, that's good. It means it'll be easier to chop down trees. I don't think we're going to make a lot of money today. No, 215 gold from foraging. All right, my friends, that is it for today. Thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow in Stardew Valley.